This morning, we uh, present the winners of the Magnet Nurse of the Year Award. The recognition goes to five nurses who have each applied one of the components of the Magnet model to their practice. And as Kathy Chapel said yesterday, they have demonstrated the power of the individual to change and improve professional culture. Let's welcome once again the Chair of the Magnet Commission, Dr. Donna Havens. Our first Magnet Nurse of the Year Award is for transformational leadership. Transformational leaders set high expectations, inspire others to look beyond their own self-interest, and encourage teams to reach for the improbable. Through dedication, advocacy, and tenacity, our first award winner transformed the way care is provided to victims of violence in her community. As the coordinator of the only forensic nurse examiner program in her region, she built a team that provides around-the-clock care to patients. In four years, she grew the SANE program from 15 nurses to a staff of 30. With specially trained forensic nurses, her organization realized a 230% increase in patient volume in three years. Her influence reaches beyond hospital walls. She serves on county sexual assault and domestic violence response teams, and she provides education and training to police and fire departments, advocacy agencies, and area hospitals and schools. She serves on the state's human trafficking task force and works with the FBI on active human trafficking sting operations. She collaborated with the State Attorney General's Office to implement new legislation related to victims of crime. She testified before state senators in support of legislation that would revamp Victims' Compensation Fund and allow for hospital reimbursement for medical care provided to victims. The bill passed and was signed into law in April. Please, yes. Please join me in congratulating our 2016 Transformational Leadership Award winner from Nebraska Methodist Hospital in Omaha, Nebraska, Ian Boatwright. Thank you, Commissioner Havens. The first time I sat with a woman who had been raped, I lacked the training to support them in the worst moment of their life. That experience inspired me to seek formal education and training to become a sexual assault nurse examiner, which has changed the course of my life. At the Methodist Heidi Wilkie Forensic Nurse Examiner Program, we serve patients who have survived sexual violence, domestic assault, human sex trafficking, and strangulation. We increased awareness in our community and provided education and training for healthcare professionals to enhance their understanding of how to care for these patients. We built a training course from the Intimate Partner Guidelines through the International Association of Forensic Nurses. In 2014, I collaborated with organizational leaders to expand our program, which now allows forensic nurses to see all patients that have experienced violence whether they access care through the emergency department, a hospital, or a clinic. I developed partnerships outside of Omaha and recognized the need for a statewide response with a funding system to develop standards and provide comprehensive care to patients. As a member of the community response team, I work with healthcare providers, law enforcement, and other community advocates to conduct high-risk case review of sexual assault, domestic violence victims to prevent further violence or death. This issue impacts all of you, regardless of where you work. How nurses deal with violence should be ingrained into every aspect of training and education. And I urge every one of you to join me in taking a stand. I dedicate this award to those who have experienced or lost their lives to this senseless violence. Thank you for this honor.
Congratulations, Anne. I am Magnet Commissioner Cynthia Barganier. Magnet organizations build structural environments that empower nurses, support change, and promote community outreach to improve the overall health of communities they serve. This award winner is a champion for transitional care, an emerging area in nursing. She left her inpatient clinical nurse specialist role to become an expert in transitional care in a rural, medically underserved region that encompasses three states. She partnered with local primary care providers to identify at-risk patients and help those patients navigate from one care setting to another. She created a support network within the community, establishing partnerships with mental health services, Meals on Wheels, and the SASH program, which provides support to seniors who choose to live independently at home. She collaborated with special community team care that works to decrease ED visits. These efforts resulted in a 69% decrease in hospitalizations and a 26% decrease in ED visits for patients enrolled in the program. As a result of this work, the Transitional Care Team was awarded a $200,000 innovation grant for their state. The team now provides clinical rotations for local nursing students and is collaborating with local college faculty to offer a transitional care course as part of their BSN program. Please join me in congratulating our 2016 Structural Empowerment Award winner from Southwestern Vermont Medical Center in Bennington, Vermont, Barbara Richardson. Thank you, Commissioner Barganer. I have witnessed amazing progress in my nursing and medicine career in over 40 years. However, today, patients are being discharged sooner and sicker, struggling to understand complicated medication treatments and confusing discharge instructions. Over the past three years, our transitional care team has addressed this concerning trend in our community. Grounded in Dr. Mary Naylor's transitional care model and supported by visionary leadership, we built a program that partners with primary care providers to help patients safely and successfully navigate a complicated health care system. We follow patients from one setting to another, building relationships, and encouraging patients to set realistic goals to improve their health. We found that basic needs are not always easily met, and that many patients have unrecognized social comorbidities affecting their health. Food insecurity, contaminated water, insecure housing, poverty, and no heat or transportation are common findings. These patients are often labeled as non-compliant when they're simply doing their best with the resources they have. Clinical nurse specialists are problem solvers. We identified the gaps, imagined the possibilities, found solutions, and made meaningful changes. We grew our program from a team of three transitional care nurses, now to include a social worker, pharmacists, diabetic educators, and other interprofessional team members. Together, these dedicated professionals have positively impacted care, outcomes, and quality of life for many people in our community. I'm honored to accept this war award on behalf of the entire team. Thank you. Congratulations, Barbara. I'm Magnet Commissioner Brian Selig, and I'm here to introduce the award winner for Exemplary Professional Practice. Exemplary Practice in Magnet Organizations 
is evidenced by effective and efficient care services, interprofessional collaboration, and high quality patient outcomes. In 2014, at a time of worldwide attention, this award winner was selected to be the clinical nurse specialist for her organization's Serious Communicable Diseases Unit. In this role, she and the team, led by their medical director, developed and refined protocols to successfully deliver safe and effective care for America's first patients diagnosed with Ebola. The CDC updated its treatment recommendations largely based on this team's protocols. Using the principles identify, isolate, and inform, the team subsequently educated and trained 700 of their organization's caregivers on the correct use of personal protective equipment. A newly developed website enabled worldwide dissemination of the team's protocols, resulting in more than 30,000 downloads. Innovations by this team created the infrastructure to ensure that America is equipped to handle the next epidemic of highly infectious patients safely and effectively. Please join me in congratulating our 2016 Exemplary Professional Practice Award winner from Emory University Hospital in Atlanta, Georgia, Sharon Van Aersdale. Thank you, Commissioner Selig. After graduating from nursing school, I prepared myself for a typical nursing career in the emergency department. I continued my professional development by earning licenses as a clinical nurse specialist and a nurse practitioner. As a CNS in the ED, I worked with staff, community partners, and interdisciplinary teams to improve patient care related to sepsis, strokes, MIs, and palliative care initiatives. Little did I know the path my career would take. In July 2014, Emory's Serious Communicable Diseases Unit was called upon to care for patients with Ebola. Coincidentally, I had developed education on Ebola for the ED nurses and was immediately prepared to assist with staff training and safety, unit protocols, and clinical care. After successfully discharging four patients with Ebola, I focused on the education and training of healthcare workers at Emory and at hospitals across the nation. To prepare healthcare organizations, Emory partnered with the CDC and Nebraska Medicine. I visited facilities across the U.S. to evaluate their readiness to treat patients with Ebola. I assisted with the development of courses on Ebola treatment and preparedness protocols and successfully trained over 600 clinicians and public care professionals. The success of this initiative led to the development of the National Ebola Training and Education Center, a collaboration among Emory Medicine, Nebraska Medicine, and New York City Health and Hospitals Bellevue. This program has prepared an additional 450 healthcare professionals so far. Today, I travel to hospitals nationwide to advise healthcare professionals how to treat patients with emerging infectious diseases. I also create curricula for the center's free educational offerings for healthcare facilities throughout the world. It's a privilege to work with such a dedicated, selfless, and, and committed team of healthcare uh, professionals. It's humbling to think of the impact we've had on nurses and patients around the world. Thank you so much for this honor. Congratulations, Sharon. I am Magnet Commissioner Mary D. Hacker. Our next award is for new knowledge, innovations, and improvements, which are hallmarks of magnet-recognized organizations. This award winner's contribution to new knowledge and innovation is exemplified by her development of a mobile application designed for nurses who care for patients with a wide range of neurological diseases. The goals of the app are to enhance bedside care through instant access to neuroscience nursing information and to increase nursing confidence when caring for neurological patients. The mobile app was developed over a one-year period and was reviewed by International Committee of Nurses. Launched in 2015, the free neuroscience nurse mobile app has been downloaded by more than 1,700 users in 19 countries. A committed educator, this Magnet Nurse of the Year has created a range of other multilingual educational resources. 
She is a past president of the Greater Sacramento American Association of Neuroscience Nurses. She currently serves as the president of the World Federation of Neuroscience Nurses, an international organization dedicated to promotion and development of neuroscience nursing worldwide. Please join me in congratulating our 2016 New Knowledge, Innovations, and Improvements Award winner from the University of California Davis Medical Center, Christy DeLimos. Thank you, Commissioner Hacker. In 2014, I fell from a horse, fractured my spine, and I learned what it's like to be a neurological patient. My nurses provided compassionate care. However, I noticed that some lacked foundational knowledge in neuroscience nursing. During my recovery, I was determined to find a way to help bedside nurses develop confidence and skill in caring for patients with neurological problems. Mobile technology has transformed the way we learn, access information, and communicate. Today's nursing care is more complex and often requires specialty knowledge and expertise. Smartphone applications provide instant access to specialty information that enhances skills in critical thinking and clinical decision making. In 2015, I launched a mobile app to enhance bedside skills in neuroscience with point of care access to important information on stroke, brain injury, spine trauma, and more. Next, I added a collection of webinars on a variety of common neuroscience topics to enhance the mobile learning experience. Links were incorporated in the mobile app to allow nurses to learn on the go. I then produced a multilingual professional teaching video demonstrating how to perform a neurological examination. The UC Davis Advanced Practice Nurses Council provided critical support by watching video drafts and volunteer bedside nurses invested hours testing the app for future users. Mobile applications aimed at improving patient care play an important part in the future of nursing education and patient health globally. Healthcare organizations that embrace mobile devices as powerful handheld tools can improve the safety and delivery of care. My experience validates that this teaching modality is just the beginning of nursing applications that will improve patient safety and increase nursing knowledge long into the future. Thank you for this prestigious honor. Congratulations, Christy. I am Commissioner Jeanette Ives Erickson, and I am presenting the final award, which is for empirical outcomes. This award winner's clinical work involves caring for critically ill patients with advanced heart failure, heart transplants, and mechanical heart pumps called left ventricular assist devices, or LVADs. She generated groundbreaking research encompassing patients and caregivers' emotional, rational, and fundamental beliefs when considering an LVAD. She interviewed 22 patients, 17 caregivers, and 18 LVAD coordinators to learn what's important to them when making this complex decision. The resulting data were published in three high-impact, peer-reviewed journals targeted at nursing, cardiology, and surgical colleagues. This work led to the development of two innovative decision aids, which are currently used by LVAD programs across the United States and Canada. The development of these tools also led to a $2 million grant from the Patient-Centered Outcomes Research Institute. In addition, her pilot work in testing the decision aids has led to national recognition from the American Heart Association and the Heart Failure Society of America. In a community that is dominated by physicians and surgeons, she brings a nursing focus to the problem 
ensuring that nurses advocate for patients, families, and caregivers. Please join me in congratulating our 2016 Empirical Outcomes Award winner from the University of Colorado Hospital in Denver, Colorado, Dr. Colleen McElvin. Thank you, Commissioner Ives Erickson. When I was 18 years old, my dad suffered a massive heart attack. After observing his nurses and being involved in his care, I realized nursing was the career for me, and I have never looked back. Cardiology is my passion. Patients diagnosed with end-stage heart failure who are not eligible for cardiac transplantation face a stark decision. They can accept an implant of a mechanical device that could help prolong their life, or they can live out the remainder of their life, likely with palliative or hospice care. Given the immediacy and complexity of the situation, informed decision-making is critical for both patients and their families. As I interviewed them, I learned that many did not perceive there was a choice. I also gained other insights into what patients and families found important, such as the emotional nature of the decision. All of this is why we created two freely available patient and caregiver decision aids, an eight-page pamphlet, and a 26-minute video. We are currently testing the dissemination and implementation of these decision aids in clinical practice at six LVAD programs across the country. Initial results are encouraging, showing that most patients and caregivers believe the decision aids lead to a more informed clinical decision. I'm fortunate to work at a magnet organization that recognizes the impact nurse research has on patients and their loved ones, and that provides the clinical and leadership support to accomplish the research goals. Thank you very much for this prestigious honor. So let's bring out all of our Magnet Nurses of the Year one more time. Congratulations. You have every right to be proud of your accomplishments.